All right, so before the video starts, I just wanted to say that I accidentally deleted the footage that was going to be in this place, but I clearly don't have that anymore. So I'm just gonna explain to you what this video is going to be. So I was working at, I guess, an abandoned house and we were clearing out the basement to get it all clean, cleared out. We had to throw everything in the dumpster. And it just so happened that in the corner, the picture that you're seeing right now, there was a box of old sports cards. So I figured why not I take them home instead of throwing them out because clearly didn't know it was in there. So this video is going to be me looking through the contents of the box and I guess seeing what we can find. Enjoy the video. All right, I'm back at home now. It's honestly about a week, maybe close to two weeks at this point since I filmed the first part of this video. But I have the box of cards next to me and I'm just going to bring them out and we're going to see what is inside here. So... To start off, this isn't anything to do with sports. I mean, you got some sports cards in here, but there's a first, I don't know what first year edition, but we have a starting lineup of Mario, Mario, whatever you want to say it, Mario Lemieux. I don't think this is anything special, honestly. They probably made about a bajillion of these, but yeah, there's a Mario Lemieux starting lineup. And I thought this was pretty cool, but there is a old school i guess beckett i mean it's not this isn't beckett but it, it technically it's a price guide from 1990 so yeah this is this is insane honestly you got 54 uh 54 tops in here i believe which one is the mantle which one's mantle mantle's year hang on let me check real quick found it it's the 52 tops mantle if you could see where's it at right here it's right there. The mantle was going for $6,300. That is insane for back in 1990. Now that card's what? That It's easily a five-figure card, maybe even close to six figures, easily over six figures, probably even close to seven figures depending on the grade. But that is insane thinking about back in 1990, that card was going for only $6,300. If you had bought that back then for $6,300, you're probably sitting pretty right now. But this is insane to look through. I thought this was pretty cool, honestly, since this is from 1990. So the prices are, are insane. Whew. Oh my God. Definitely, definitely very, very cool. But yeah, there's there's that. And then we have not one. Oh shit. Not two. Not three. But four boxes of pro sets. This is honestly, oh my God, what the hell is going on here? What the hell? Got that big. Well, we got four boxes of pro sets. Look at the sticker price on there, $4.99. You could probably buy these boxes for 50 cents and you'd probably have a tough time getting your money back. So yeah, probably end up doing a video on this, opening up all four at once because who's, who's gonna watch one box of pro sets? No, no. But yeah, that's cool finding four unopened sealed boxes of pro sets. That's not it for the sealed boxes. There's actually a sealed box of 92, 93 upper deck. This is going to be a fun rip just because I believe there are young guns in here and I'm going for the set. I'm still going for the set. I haven't, haven't made any progress towards it recently, but yeah, I think this will be a cool video to, to open up, I guess as a throwback box because this is insane it's it's massive it's thick there's a lot of packs probably gonna be a lot of base but 92 93 upper deck that's very cool that's it for the actual unopened stuff so now we can get to i guess the card content i have no idea what kind of cards are going to be in here so we're looking at this for the first time together now it looks like this is all baseball at this point. So looks like we got 83, okay. 83 Don Russ. This box does not want to stay open. Yeah, I, I got uh, 83 Don Russ. So I don't know, I don't 
think. I'm not really sure who would be 83 Donruss. Let me take a quick look, actually. All right, so I believe with 1983 Donruss, this is going to be Wade Boggs' rookie year. Tony Gwynn should have a rookie. And I believe that's the big, the two big names for this year. I'll throw pictures up on the screen if I can't find them here, but let's see if we can find those in this bunch. There's a Cal Ripken. So there's a Cal Ripken. I believe this is an early on Cal Ripken card. I believe so. So I don't think that's too bad. There's there's the Tony Gwynn. So there's the Tony Gwynn right there. We have the Tony Gwynn. And now we just need the Wade Boggs. And no Wade Boggs. Unless this is if it's Fleer. What is that? All right, so for the first first I guess set we've looked through, found two of the decent cards. We have a we have a Cal Ripken. This is pretty early on in his career, honestly, eighty three. So this is only a third year card, so it's pretty early on with it for a Cal Ripken. But the big one, Tony Gwynn, rookie card, first year. So it's actually a pretty decent find. Now for the rest of the set in here, I believe we have. So we have what is this? Mm. It's Fleer, but what year? 1980, this is 1983 Fleer. And pretty much for the same thing, this is 1983 Fleer. So we'd pretty much be looking for the same same people that I just looked for in Tony Gwynn. Throw him up on, I'll throw him up on the screen. Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs, and I believe Ryan Ryan Sandberg, that's his name. So I think those are the, the, the big rookies that you'd want from this set. And then maybe, you know, early on, Cal Ripken. So let's see what we can find. Bam! There's the Tony Gwynn that we were looking for. It's exactly what we were looking for. Bingo! And then there's the Boggs. Bingo! It's exactly who we're looking for. Alright, so out of all those cards, managed to find two of the big rookies. So we have a Tony Gwynn and a Wade Boggs. So, yeah, look at that. Little discoloration on on the Gwynn, but still pretty cool find, honestly. Two of the, I guess, Hall of Famers. I don't really know baseball as much, but yeah, those are the two cards that you'd be looking for when it comes to 1993 Fleer. And for this, we have 1983 tops. So I'm assuming we're looking for the same exact players. Let's hope we can find them in the bunch. All right, nothing for tops from what I could see, but yeah, that's the end of this box. Let's get into the next box. This box is too big to fit on the screen, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have it set aside, and then I'm gonna pull cards up as 
as I find them, if I could figure out, open up this box, and I did. All right, so I guess I give you a sneak peek. They are all thrown in here, so I have no idea what to expect. Actually, you know what I can do? I could set them right here. So it seems as though it's still 1983 Fleer. I, I'm going to assume that I found all the the good cards. All the unless there's doubles in here, but I, I'm gonna highly, I highly doubt it. So let's see what we can find from Fleer, I guess. Bam. There is another Tony Gwynn Donruss. There we go. There's another one. Damn. There's another Tony Gwynn rookie guard. Oh, there we go. So there's... All right, here was another one. I believe Wade Boggs is another one of the big rookies you'd want from Bam, there's another Wade box. There we go. There's a Ryan Sandberg. I believe that's one of the rookies you'd be wanting to look for as well. There's another two more Wade Boggs. Look at that. Bam. Brother Tony Gwynn. Bingo. Bam. Another Tony Gwynn. Look at that. Easy. All right, so I looked through all of the 83 now. I believe this is 82. I saw it. This is 81 Fleer. So I don't think there isn't much of it, to be honest with you. So I don't think they're, I feel as though, I mean, you got a Nolan Ryan. That's pretty later on in his career. 
Other than that, I don't think there is anything special when it comes to 81 with the cards that I have. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't see anything. I don't recognize any of the names. Now granted, I probably wouldn't recognize any of the names because I don't know what to look for. Again, I don't think I see anything. Tom Lasorda. So, yeah, that's the end of this box. Got a couple more smaller ones. Let's get into the smaller ones. All right, so we got our next small box here. It looks to be, I guess, a full set. It's at least one full year. So they all have the same. So this looks to be... 1980 tops. So let me see what we'd be looking for. All right, so for 1980, I believe this is, this should be 1980, full 1980, right? Yes. So what we'd be looking for is, I'll throw them up on the screen. We got Ricky Henderson. That's the big one from what I could see. And I believe Ozzy Smith has a rookie as well. So we're going to see what we can find here. But it looks to be in team order. I don't. Yeah, let's see what we can find. I'm just going to go through them. All right, so I believe this Ozzy Smith is not terrible. I think this is a early on. I think it's third year Ozzy Smith, so that's probably one to put to the side. So there was no Ricky Henderson. That sucks, but we're going to get on to the next box. All right, so I got another box, but this isn't anything that we could really look through, that I could look through right now, unless I open it up. But it looks like we have a complete box of 1991 score. I don't know who's in here, but I actually have another box right here which is actually the same thing. So I don't know who's in here, but let me find out. All right, so I believe the big one in here is Chipper Jones. I'm not gonna open these up just because, I, I don't know, I'm not, there's no really reason because it's sealed. So there's there shouldn't be anything missing in here, but yeah, we got two of those. And then this is another long box here which looks like there is some there's some cards from the other binder that made it into here. So we got some of the Angels cards. Wait a second. Oh, damn. I thought there was going to be a Ricky Henderson in here, but there is not. So... There's not a Ricky Henderson rookie card in here, which sucks, but I'm dropping stuff. All right, so I'm back, and I actually looked up what cards to look for in this specific set. So what we have here is 19... Freaking boxes don't stay open. We have 1981 Fleer. 
Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I looked up the wrong set, but this is 81 Fleer, and I don't believe there's anything crazy in here besides a second year Ricky Henderson card, or yeah, I'm, uh, there's, a, there's the Nolan Ryan. So I believe Nolan Ryan is actually one of the better. There he is. Nolan Ryan, one of the better cards that you'd want in here, but it's freaking massively beat, so not really much you could do there. But I'm not really going to look through this just because I don't think there's anything special in here besides the Henderson, which should be right. be right here there he is a ricky henderson all right so yeah i don't think there's any reason to look through the rest of that because i believe i pulled out two of the best cards in the set so yeah no need to bore bore you guys going through here this is the final box the smallest box out of the whole bunch and it looks like we have a 1990 score this is baseball we have a baseball i think this is these are the high series high series cards but yeah, looks like we got a mix a mix of cards in here uh not really sure what we're looking at here but we have what looks to be pretty much the cards that are of i guess interest from what i can tell is here we got a ricky henderson and we got a nolan ryan i believe this is second year and this is just a nolan ryan card and then for decent rookies we got tony gwynn wayne boggs another tony gwynn we got some more boggs ryan sandberg more boggs tony gwynn we got a bunch of Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs. Got a Cal Ripken, early Cal Ripken. Honestly, I believe this is second year, second or third year. Sorry, and then more Tony Gwynn. So, yeah, let me know down below if you guys enjoy this video, or you know if you saw anything. If you want to give your two cents as to what I have here, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next video. Bye.